Hey, Lisa, I'm Collier Strong, consulting makeup artist at L'Oreal Paris. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So tell me about your skincare routine. Um, it's very, very basic. Yeah? I'm a teacher, so it's probably all thrown on in about five minutes yeah. sitting at my desk. Yeah. So what I'm going to show you today is how to keep your skin hydrated, how to pick the perfect foundation as well as concealer and blush that match not only your skin tone, but your skin's undertone, okay? Great. The first thing that's important is to moisturize and nourish the skin, and I'm using Youth Code. And I'll use a little bit applied with a sponge all over the face, because what this does is it hydrates the skin and it creates the perfect foundation, if you will, for all the other products you're gonna put on your skin. So it's very important to keep your skin nourished. And also you said you lived in Hawaii, right? Right. And of course you need SPF. Right, that's a because concern. You're being very fair and light eyes, so that's important. So to find the right foundation, I look at your skin tone. You look like you're very warm because it seems like you have a, a bit of a tan, right? Mm -hmm. But then I like to see somebody's undertone. Yours looks like a little more neutral. So we're gonna go with the skin's undertone here, but then the tan on your face, mm -hmm. that dictates really what level you would use of a neutral color. Great. So I think you're about a level five because of the tan that you have but it's an N5, which means it's a neutral color. Right. And the level is five. Okay, great. And with foundation, you can put it on a number of ways. I always use either a brush or a sponge. And with the foundation, you don't need it all over your face, so I'm gonna show you just in the areas that you need it. Okay. A little, like where there's a little redness. Right. Just, it neutralizes the redness right here then I'm using the back part of the sponge to, to take off the excess. Oh, I never knew yeah. that. That's a really good tip. So it doesn't, <laughs> so you don't end up with a full face of makeup and right, it looks right. like it's all made up. And see, just a little touch of foundation and it completely evens you out. And see, right. it's very important that your face matches your body. Right, I hate it when you see that line on people. The line or the face is too light and the body is tan right. Right. or vice versa and feel the finish of the foundation. Right. It's like you're wearing nothing. Right, see I'm always worried about that because uh -huh. where I live in Hawaii, you're always worried it's just gonna melt right off yeah. your face. Yeah, and it's you don't very want humid, so right. you would think that. And also by prepping the skin with moisturizer, it helps to absorb into the skin oh. and it becomes part of your skin. So I'm gonna use the same N45 for your concealer. So it's a very simple system to follow. Okay. And you only need a little concealer under your eyes. And then tap it in with your finger. Pat, okay. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. And look at the difference between that side and that mm -hmm. side. And Isn't I that have great? those under eye circles that I'm always concerned and about. And see, what I do is, see, there's a little bit of bulbous skin right here. Mm -hmm. And so what I do is I go under that. So it highlights underneath it, so it brings out the skin, so it so makes it look flatter. It looks level, right. Okay, so once that's done, I'm taking the powder N4. I'm powdering the cheek right where the blush is gonna go so that the blush just glides on, whereas if you left it unpowdered, then it's likely that once you put the brush, the blush brush, on the cheek, the color is gonna stick right, right. there because it's too moist. Mm -hmm. What's great about the True Match system is if it's filled with vitamin B and vitamin E, so it nourishes the skin the whole time you're wearing it. So what colors do you wear oh. on your face? I usually don't wear blush at all. Yeah. So, an eyeshadow very... That's so surprising. I've or never, eyeshadow? Never. Wow, okay, you're gonna be fun. For your face, you have more of a narrow face. Right. And so I'm applying the blush straight out. And then I stop applying the blush once you start to see the color. See, mm -hmm. see the color? See the difference. And I want you to do the other side. And just straight back. Uh-huh, that's perfect. See how you start to see the color? Right, yeah. That's when you know, okay, stop. That looks great. Yeah, it does it. <laughs> Also, you can do a little across the forehead and a little on the chin and a little on the nose. What that does is it creates this sun-kissed look, even though we're not using a bronzer, we're using a blush. Right. But it still gives the effect. Okay. See how even your skin looks? It looks great. It looks like you have nothing on and your skin looks flawless. Very natural. And that's all it takes to have beautiful skin.